YouTubers. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm Evangelist Tammy and today I'm going to share with you three keys to getting delivered. The first key to getting delivered is to confess the sin and expose the attacks of the enemy in your life. So there are sins that we're doing. Um, it, it may be in secret. It may be something that we're ashamed of. Go ahead and confess it. If you have someone that you trust, confess that sin to them. If you don't have anyone that you trust, you know you can trust God, okay? Overall, you have someone you can confess your sins to, and that is God himself. So go ahead and confess it to God um, and expose the attacks of the enemy in your life. Whatever is going on, whatever evil attacks you may be experiencing, expose it expose it do not hold do not bottle it in don't bottle things in go ahead and talk about it that's the first step to deliverance and the scripture we have is first john chapter 1 verse 9 and it says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness the second key to getting delivered is to have a heart of forgiveness it is to forgive all who have offended you forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made uh, just having a heart of forgiveness and oftentimes we need to ask God to help us to forgive because my friends contrary to what many may think when you are forgive a forgiving person that doesn't mean you're weak that means you're strong because it takes an inner strength to forgive, especially some folks, especially things that have been done to you by people. It takes strength to forgive. So forgiving all who have offended you is the second step to getting deliverance. And the scripture we have comes out of Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. And it says, for if we forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you so we forgive so that we can be forgiven the third key to getting delivered is to begin to ask God to deliver you and ask him to deliver you by the power of his spirit there are things in our lives that we may be doing we need the Holy Spirit to come in and drive out some things. We need the Holy Spirit to come in and drive out some things out of our very flesh, okay? Out of our minds. Ask God by the power of his spirit to eliminate every unclean thing in your life, to begin to deliver you from every attack of the enemy, every evil covenant, every evil agenda or plot against your life, against your children's lives, begin to ask God to deliver you by the power of his spirit. And the scripture we have is Psalm chapter 50, verse 15. And it says, and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. So asking God to deliver you in your time of trouble, and even when things are going good for you, there may be things that we need deliverance from that we're not aware of. So it's always safe just to ask God to deliver you from everything, even if it's unknown. Okay, and keep in mind, there is a difference between temporary deliverance and total deliverance. What we want is total deliverance. We don't want just a, to be delivered temporarily and then that thing comes back or we start getting into our old ways once again. And we need to keep getting delivered from the same thing over and over again. What we want is total deliverance. That means once we stop a particular sin that we're doing that God delivers us from we want to stop it for life we don't want to ever go back to it we want total deliverance 
and just ask God. Ask Him for total deliverance. <laughs> and with that said, as always, I wish you peace and love in your heart. And until next time, take good care. Thank you.